G'day mate and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jenny, and of course, Mr. Icarus Prime. And today's episode, ooh, ooh, we have some things we want to do. Um, I basically want to burn a gas giant. But before we get to that, we've got a few things we need to talk about. First off, we need to talk about our, our oil, because we haven't come back to oil since basically we set up Red Science. And the whole time, we set it up to be fairly smart so we could swap it over easily, and we have this lovely splitter here... Thanks, high strength class. Excellent. More research done. We'll talk about research much later. But we've had this splitter here that is prioritizing that the refined oil goes into cracking to give us extra hydrogen. The catch is, for quite some time now, we've actually been taking the excess hydrogen, sending most of it into making red signs, but some of it is actually coming out and going into, well, this tower. It's pretty much full. Uh, so what I want to do is we want to click this button. We want to prioritize that way because we're actually not making quite a full belt's worth of, you know, refined oil. And then it's coming out here and it's a green belt. It's moving really quickly. Consequently, our stores are starting to empty. Now, I'm not going to fix the problem now. We're just going to change this over so the problem gets delayed. Meanwhile, we still should make plenty of hydrogen to uh, run our red science, because that's all we really care about. We just care about red science running, and that's all we're really using hydrogen for. Uh, can I actually grab... I should have heaps, but we're going to grab some more, because next thing we need to do this episode is we finally have 15 orbital collectors, so I'm going to grab 14 of them, because we need to go fix 14 problems, which I'm going to turn on, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to fly straight into our gas giant, and we're going to pop these down, so it's solved. Uh, which side of the planet are you on? The other side of the planet. Come on, Icarus. Height. Height and altitude. There we go. All right. So we want to crash into the gas giant. Perfect. And we just need to circumnavigate the world. Great. Whilst that's happening, I get to talk about what else we're doing in this episode. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to our Tyler Luck planet. And we need to fix the power because I sort of left the power in an abysmal state. Second thing I want to do is, after we fix power, we're making a certain amount of those green motor things. We need to make more of those green motor things. I said early on that those green motor things are the bane of your existence. They're like screws or steel in Satisfactory or gears in Factorio or green circuits. You just need piles of them. So we're going to go make piles of them. Um, well, we're going to double the build at least. Uh, the other thing we need to do is... Uh, we are on the gas giant right now. We're putting down these lovely towers. And these lovely towers harvest two things. They harvest hydrogen, which is great. They also harvest fire ice. Fire ice, if we come into the freaking handcrafting menu, we can make into graphene. Currently, I'm using refined, gra no, uh, energetic graphite and sulfuric acid to make graphene. We could, much simpler, just make it from fire ice. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, we just need to wait for 12 bots to find their way home. Where, oh, there's the bot coming this direction. Can we turn the lights, please, Icarus? That didn't really help much. But we're going to fly this way towards our bots. Well, they are getting to us. Yeah, they are getting to us. Uh, 10... We've got one missing bot. Alright. Oh, there he is. Okay. We're going to now fly, as I said, across to our tightly locked planet. Health bot here yet? Come on. In the inventory. I can leave them here, but then I need to wait for them to traverse, and it's 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 a pain. It's a pain. Uh, so we're going to fly across to whatever it's called. Like I said, as soon as we get warp tech, which is what we're really striving for... Gonna start renaming some planets because I don't like the default names. And again, I want to I want to thank you guys. I want to support. Well, I want to shout out the people that are supporting the channel and trying to make ad free 2022 a reality, which is a big strive of the channel by supporting the channel. You know, becoming a YouTube member, becoming a patron, uh, trying to well, trying to support the channel, making sure we're ad free at the same time, getting early access to videos. Um, because generally the videos are ready eh, 12 to 24 hours in advance. So, you know, you get early access to videos. Especially if you like Dyson Sphere, it's good to get in early. And occasionally if I screw up an episode really bad, you get to watch it. 
and then tell me I screwed it up and then it gets re-recorded anyway uh, now we're here I want to go to this I want to go to our iron build first uh, because well our, 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 our green engine thingamajiggy bob build first because it has some problems um, mostly minor semi-major but mostly minor so if we come over here and we scroll across this build we can see that the proliferated juice is making it to here but it's not making it to here so we're actually not proliferating that last step which is probably the most important step so what we're going to do is no we do have fuel in there okay we're just unlucky what we're going to do is we're going to come out of blueprints we're going to go into the early game blueprints we're going to get the self proliferating proliferator i'm going to rotate it twice so it lines up and we're going to go one build come on out my way two builds ah uh, because i really want this to work so after we've done that we're going to grab this belt we're going to move it over here plug it in there instead delete that that put in a splitter right about there plug that into there plug that into there bring this belt out drag it down to i don't know there it looks good uh we're gonna put another splitter in there drag that into there that into there and that into there okay so we're gonna double up the build now, each one of these uses about four coal per second, which means I need to upgrade that belt, and that belt, and that belt, and that belt. That should be all we need to do. At the same time, I'd really, like, this will eventually proliferate itself, but I'd really like to speed up the process, so we're just going to grab a, well, actually, the best thing I'm going to do is put down some of these, because I now have so many bots, and they move so fast, they use so much power, and we're poor. Okay. We're going to grab a whole bunch of proliferation juice off this belt. And then I'm going to physically dump it into that build just to make sure it's proliferated now. Rather than wait for it to self-replicate and get up and running that way. So we're going to go to the first sprayer. Uh, you. And we're just going to half fill that one. Half fill that one. Half fill that one. Uh, half fill that one. Half fill that one, come to here. Same story, half fill that, half fill that, half fill that, half fill that, and finish filling that. Okay, then we're gonna bring out our now re proliferated, proliferated juice. We're gonna plug that into that splitter and that into. Well, you're gonna have to come up a little bit. Oh, that into that belt and that into that belt. Okay. So that should get us more proliferation juice. At the same time, it does have that backup belt, bed, belt, belt, bed from this tower. So should this run out of coal, which I do want it to do, we're down to 123,000. Should it run out of coal, it will then default to this tower instead. Next thing I want to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to grab everything between here and all the way over here. Come on, let's just fly everything between there and there now i don't want to cover the yellow line because if you cover it if, if you grab a yellow line you can end up stuck and things don't slide up and down the planet the way you might want so i need to grab everything short of that yellow line which technically means this is missing some stuff let's not do the wind turbines and we're going to dump that right there next thing we need to do is we're going to have to put in a splitter that's the proliferator belt uh, here. Uh, that one. I need to cancel that. I don't want to bring that in. Okay, so I want to bring that into there and that into there. At the same time, we're going to prioritize that this proliferates the first build before it even thinks about the second build. Then we're going to bring across our proliferated juice, plug it in there, before, uh, hang on, we need to plug in our copper to there, we need to grab another sprayer and put it there, we need to drag you, you into the sprayer, out of the sprayer and into that proliferator belt, we need sorters, one, two, three, uh, bump, bump, bump. 
and I probably need more power. Shock and bewilderment. Okay. Alright, so now we need to build this. Uh, now, we have set up... So, this build... Oh, actually, probably don't want to equip that much material. Okay, we've set up this. So, this has gone and backed up that original belt. Great. It's now working its way through here. We can see that this one is now fully proliferated. And it should output there any second now, because that tank looks very, very close to being full. There we go. And it should prioritize coming out this way. So it's going to fill up and back up this line before it worries about the next build, which is perfect. Uh, we want to put a power pole in there, because you're missing power. And then we just need to get the rest of this build done. And more power for poor Icarus. We are still burning stuff, right? We are. We need more upgrades. We need an energy circuit upgrade. Yeah. Okay. We're done. My bots have started cleaning up the ground. Okay. So that is now making the green motors. Now the green motors are going to travel along their lovely little belts. They're going to come all the way into this tower, which is great, except I don't really want them in this tower. Uh, what I do want is I want them... Where is the other... There we go. Early sheepies. All right. What I want to do is I want to bring out the engines and I want to put them on this belt. Because rather than having two potential spots where they can stack up and then have two potential spots where we're going to have to wait to have a certain amount of stock and then they're going to be shipped out, we're just going to merge them together. And there we go. First motor comes... Well, it's going to go straight into this building. Oh, grab that. And straight out of this building and that's going to come stack up here. Because we need more of these green things to make the pink particle containers. Why do we need pink particle containers? Because the next episode, I want strange matter. And strange matter requires pink particle containers. Why do we want strange matter? Strange matter gets us graviton lenses. Graviton lenses get us warpers. Warpers mean we can get off this damn uh, solar system. And I can go find somewhere with silicon. Because we're down to 280,000. Everything else is okay. Silicon, big issue. All right, so we've done that, all right? You're now up and running. You're beautiful. You're great. Next problem is, uh, and the sprayers are going excellent. Hang on, let me just look at this really quickly. Uh, coal belt is not not quite making it to the end of the first. Uh, the This guy's, this is running fine. Not quite making it to the end of these guys either. But it looks like the diamonds are backed up. Yep, diamonds are backed up. We're really afraid of Mark 1 is backed up. So I call this a success. It is running flat out. All right. Next thing we want to do. We're going to fly to the South Pole. Because on the South Pole is a great place to burn a gas giant. That's literally what we're going to do. Uh, did I grab wind turbines? Nope. All right. We're going to do this without grabbing any wind turbines, which is maybe a mistake, but it will be okay. First thing I want to do is I want to disconnect that. We're going to run that around the planet instead. Put that to there. Drag it around. Build it over here. Drag it around. Build it over here. And then plug that in there. Now, the reason I need to do this is uh, what you don't realize on this planet is even though the power grid looks blue and looks happy, it's actually not. Okay? It's really upset. And the reason it's really upset is, well, we set up that uh, lovely deuterium build, and then I turned it off because it was uh, causing some power issues. So I'd really like to turn it back on, but to do that, I need power. I need a lot more power. So we're going to come over here, we're going to remove all of this, and we're going to put down a power plant right about yeah. So power plant, you say. How are we going to do a power plant? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to come here. I'm going to say I would like hydrogen. Hydrogen is a great fuel. Okay, it's nine megajoules of power. Not a lot. Not a lot. But it comes from gas giants, and there's plenty of them on a gas giant. So we can get a lot of hydrogen, like an awful lot of hydrogen, for nothing, pretty much. So what I want to do is we're going to have a belt. Uh, comes out of this, uh, and we're going to bring it down to mm, maybe there, maybe there. Not sure. 
But I'm making this up as I go. Uh, okay, I want to grab wind turbines because I do want to try and hook this back into that. Although I don't like my chances. Let's hit tab lots of times so they stretch out. 14 of them out of building range. Well, out of building range is something I can't help with. I have one left. We go with no. We didn't quite make it. I have to resort to the non draggable power poles. Okay, so we check the power grid real, light, real real quick. We can see we've we've got 91 megawatts or 90, 90 megawatts in use out of 167. I want to up our ante a lot. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to in the power we have the thermal power plant. Thermal power plant is a great little power plant. What it does is it burns things. That's its only objective. Uh, object uh, only objective in life is to burn things, and it makes 2.16 megawatts each. Uh, it does have an energy efficiency rating, so you do lose 20% of the power in an energy efficiency, you know, thingamajiggy bob, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So, what I want to do is we're going to put down, well, I'll start with one. And we're also going to use the Sword of Mark III. The Sword of Mark III we're using because they move six items at once. Because what I actually want to do is I want to daisy chain these. I want to daisy chain them together. So we're going to build out to here. Yes, okay. I'm going to build out to here, and then out to here. And we're going to actually simplify our life by dragging around. And hang on, let's grab another hydrogen line. Number one, we're going to bring it to here. And then around to there. And you know what, we're just going to go all the way around. Okay. And then we're going to grab the last guy off this, and we're going to drag it like, down like this. And like I said, all they're going to do is they're just going to daisy chain. So the first one's going to grab, grab the fuel off the belt, and then feed it in the second one. We're just going to feed it in the third one, and feed it in the fourth one, we're going to feed it in the fifth, and in the sixth. Right, I want to grab that, and we want to drag this around as well. Come on, belts. Excellent. Just. Uh, we're going to drag that down. And that down. The reason we put the wind turbines around the outside is because it means all of this is plugged into the grid already. Jetty's about to run out of power again. Oh, no, we are still burning the good stuff. Let's not burn the crap stuff. Let's keep burning the good stuff. Alright. So. One, two, three, four. Come on, just place them everywhere. Cool. Alright. So, we have a belt bringing out hydrogen. And we're going to put down another belt here. Also bringing out... Whoop, 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 hydrogen. Uh, which means I'm going to disconnect those last couple of belts off the end. Same here, I'm going to disconnect the last couple of belts off the end. We're going to, in here, I'm going to put... Big shippies. And also going to put in some little shippies. I don't know, 100 plays. I do 50, thanks. Uh, we're going to set up local demand... And I'm going to set up remote supply. But before I do that, I want to make sure... Well, one, that the tower actually has power. Because, hang on. Remove, 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 remove. If I put a power pole here, it doesn't reach anything. So, I want to make sure you have power. To do that, we're going to bring out hydrogen on one more belt. Which we're going to make go straight to there. And then curve it around to there. And grab some thermal power plants. And these guys, literally, their job is to provide a power connection. We don't really care whether they make power or not. Their job is literally a power connection. So, we're going to put a couple of these guys in here. Now, if we bring up the power overlay, this one, you can see these guys don't reach these guys. So, we're just going to have to drag you out. Come on. There we go. Drag you. One there, one there, and one there. And they all connect together. So, we just need to build the rest of this. So, again, hydrogen belt... From there to there, uh, belt, hydrogen, uh, to there, curved around to there, hydrogen, curved to there, uh, hydrogen, curved there, grab. Let's get these guys first. One, two, three, four. Press tab multiple times so they spread out. Throw two in here, like so. Grab one of these off the edge and go click, 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 
Click. I'd love to blueprint this, but it's actually quicker to build by hand. Uh, do we not have a dock? We do have a dock. Oh, you stopped Mark for high shoot. That is so much. Okay, uh, we want... Where were we? Uh... That one, that one, that one, and that one. And funnily enough, I can... This is so weird about these things. I can put a sword there and have it actually kick the fuel out onto a belt. Really weird these things are. Okay. Where are we up to? Uh, I have how many of these left? 36. All right. So let's get... Oh. Also need a power pole. Oh, wow. Uh, it started already. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, oh, because you're demanding from the other tower. All right, so I want to go to this tower and say local storage so they don't ship it from tower to tower to tower. We're just going to set up remote storage and remote demand, and they're going to go off and grab all the hydrogen in, well, our solar system. And that one, and that one, and then one, two, three, four. Alright, this we might be able to blueprint. But I want to go from there. No, I want to go from that little bit of belt to here. This is going all over those yellow lines, so I'm expecting problems. And then I might be able to drag this over. But so lines up and look, it does. Okay, I don't quite have enough of these guys on me. Can I happen to craft 16 of those? Any chance? Just on the offshoot. Uh, I can craft 19. Well, in that case, craft 10 plus 6. Alright, so we're just going to craft these guys up, uh, but they should all be running. And as we can see, we've now got 450 megawatts of power, which is just enough to keep the lights on. And then some. Uh, I'm going to move that belt, that belt, uh, that belt. At the same time, our high shim belt stops there. Uh, now, you don't have to stop these belts. You could have the outside belt just circle around and around and around uh, like this and just keep side loading it. I like to stop the belt because I think, I think, I've got no proof whatsoever, but I think it means less calculations because things stop on a belt. But that's just me making some assumptions, which could be making an ass of myself. I honestly don't know. All right, that's going to take a while to craft. All right, so whilst we wait for this to craft, there's one more objective I want to complete, and actually, frankly, we can build this absolutely anywhere. So let's build it nice and close. I want to uh, deal with that fire ice. So we're going to drop a tower right about here. Uh, we're going to bring in fire ice. Fire ice, we're going to convert into more hydrogen. Conveniently, we're now burning that off. And graphene, we're going to want to get some shippy, shippy, shippies. Uh, I want half that stack and half that stack again, so we can put 50 uh, in there, 100 in there. We want to set the drone load to 90%. Uh, you have local demand on, we're going to set you to 100%, because I definitely want to make sure that we get rid of the hydrogen here. If the hydrogen here backs up, I'll poop quick. So the way the towers work is, as they go below maximum, they, they, they send out something to go get some more. Because the drones move 50 items compared to my vessels moving 400 items, means as soon as this drops 50, it's in our drone, if a drone can find some hydrogen. So we should keep this clear of hydrogen at all times. So what I want to do is we're going to do a user belt. Uh, we're going to bring out fire ice. I'm going to build it ah, that long. Uh, we're going to bring out... No, we're going to bring in. In hydrogen. And in graphene. I'm not going to prol proliferate this because it's pointless. Uh, because we actually, we really, 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 really want to burn this stuff off. Uh, and it's free. So we're going to bring in, or actually we're going to go out for, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Graphene, cool. Graphene's on the belt closest to us. Uh, in the fire ice, out for hydrogen. We're going to grab one of these. We're going to put you directly opposite me. We're going to go out for, I don't remember, like graphene. Graphene, in for fire ice, out for hydrogen. We're then going to grab this and we're going to drag it along. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six should be a full belt's worth. We're going to drag you along six as well. 
I'm gonna throw in some power poles there. there. I do love the chem plants are conveniently placed to get a power pole right in the middle of them. Uh, we're then gonna put a power pole behind that, which should power you up. You are done, you are dusted. I'm gonna set you to remote demand. And, oh, helps if I set the recipes. Remove those belts. We're gonna set you to do the fire ice advanced recipe. Now, there is an achievement. There's an achievement for completing the game without mining, mining achievements. Um, oh, scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, Alien Mineral Protection Act. Complete the game without gathering rare veins to obtain rare ores. So, as far as I can understand, it's referring to mining. Because I've accidentally picked up, well, accidentally, I've had the drones pick up rare ores. Okay, we, we've picked up already organic crystals. Okay, which is a rare, it's, it's a rare item. Okay, gathered from organic crystal rare. I've been crafting it as well from this recipe and from this recipe, right? Uh, so we've been crafting it, but you can just mine it directly. This one, as far as I can understand, it comes from a gas giant. It's perfectly fine. So I'm willing to bet there's going to be some that you can get away with. Uh, where's our fire? It hasn't got here yet. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, they've finished crafting. Yes. Bom, 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 bom. We're going to daisy chain through. We finally have power in Icarus again. You guys didn't get swords. Blueprinting system, not 100%. Still not 100%. Okay, that put the sword around this time. Alright, uh, let's turn that overlay off. No, nope, there's a squad over here that doesn't have uh, a sword up either. Okay. Sword up. Hello? There we go. Yeah, it's at a really odd angle. That's what's causing all the issues. Alright, so that's all running. Oh no, there's a set over here as well. Damn. Uh, I'm going to need your sorter, please. I'm going to have to give you a Mark 3, which is just going to make you feel bad. And you a Mark... I uh, know, you a Mark 2 and you a Mark 3. Come on. There we go. Okay. Alright. It's just the weird, you know, round, round world square, square grid. Okay. Come on, I want to see you working. Please. Oh, there they are. Okay, you guys are going to pump out fire ice. Beautiful. Uh, which means you're going to start making hydrogen and you're also going to make uh, graphene. We get, for every two fire ice, we get two graphene. So this should be a full belt of graphene, that is green speed, and also a full belt, uh, a full belt of fire ice and a full belt of graphene with half a belt of hydrogen, and as I said, we're gonna put the hydrogen straight into this, and it's gonna get burnt off. Which means this will run forever. We're, we're never gonna have an issue as long as we don't have power on this planet, which apparently power's okay, but what we're actually gonna do is uh, the whole build that I we had, that I turned off, we're gonna go turn it back on. Because uh, I would really like a whole pile of deuterium, and I gotta admit, this build is awesome. So what I wanna do is we're gonna come here, I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go there and there, whilst the bots wander off and do things. And what I did is I just turn off the input for these liquid tanks. So if I turn that back on, we're gonna see that fires back up. If I turn that back on as well, that's gonna fire up. We're gonna go from 120 megawatts to um wait for it. Wait for it. Uh this one hasn't turned on yet. Uh, 250. Uh, no, it still hasn't turned on. 260. Okay, everything's running. Yeah, 260 megawatts. Um, yeah, but we're going to fill up all of these tanks with a whole bunch of terium. I can't build them any higher. I don't really need them any higher, but, you know, it's always nice to have more and more storage. And uh, we're going to be leaving the episode here, I think. Oh, actually, no, I want to look at this... That has been proliferated right to the end. Okay. And, all right, very, very quickly, production stats. Uh, production, 
we want to so deuterium we're making a lot now it's been turned back on uh actually one minute two thousand okay and pro, pro proliferator proliferator we're making 270 we're using 200 so i could probably put in another build okay i could probably put in another green engine build and we're probably going to actually we're probably going to but Oh, we move a little bit faster. Excellent. Uh, but that will be decisions in the next episode. Because right here, I'm going to be calling it for this episode. Next episode, we do need to get Strange Banner up and running. Which we'll be doing on this planet. Because it needs Deuterium, which is conveniently on this planet. Uh, actually, yeah, you've got ships. You don't have little ships. Maybe some little ships. Little ships. Done. Uh, set that to home. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be setting up... Uh, oh, and there's the Dalton one. Yeah, let's cancel that. So, we're going to be setting up uh, Strange Matter here, because this is where the Deuterium is. Plus, we're going to need the pink particle containers, which, now that we've doubled the engines, the, the, the green motors on this planet, we should be shipping them to home planet faster, which means, in theory, the little pink uh, particle container build that could should be running flat out. Also, we now have infinite graphene. Now that we've done our little fire ice build... Which already has 2,000. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that should be fine as well. So what I'm going to do, is, like I said, I'm going to call this episode here. Next episode, we shall play with particle containers. We shall get Strange Matter. Strange Matter shall lead us into the Graviton Lens. The Graviton Lens shall lead us into warp technology, which means we can get off this rock and go somewhere else, which hopefully has silicon. But they're all going to be things in the very next episode. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And a big shout out to all the supporters of the channel. Eventually, I'll get around to fixing up the end screen. And, you know, you'll have all the list of the lovely patrons. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to start, like I said, as soon as we get Warpers, we're going to start naming, naming planets after people. So again, big thank you to everybody who has come and chosen to support the channel. Very, very much appreciate it. We're literally out of iron ore. Really? Here are I know. But that's okay. There's another belt here. We'll just move that belt around and plug them both in and we'll call it there. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Alright, bye.